Hello there everybody, Jesper Grip here for Curitivo.com and today I'm just going to show you a little quick tutorial uh, it's how to make a text or image or whatever and both into your background uh, I got this request on a forum so um, uh, yeah, I will of course show him what what to do and as always guys if you have any questions or you want me to do a tutorial or anything like that just send me a message here on YouTube or head over to creativo.com and just uh, write in the forums there so let's get right into it it's very simple uh, what we're going to do first is just get rid of these layers here and uh, I'm just gonna keep my background because I kinda like it uh, and then uh, what I'm going to do is just import my logo here it's a very simple logo, but yeah, you know, it's a pretty good one. And I'm just gonna take this part out. Freaking hell, my computer is lagging all of a sudden. Control X and then Control V. Uh, of course, we need to rasterize first. Control X, Control V. Uh, we now have the layer. Release clipping mask like that. And we can move it to around there. Show transformation box. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger put it around there take my text put it around there what I'm going to do then is just click on my layer put a bevel and embose we want to put it as a outer level or actually inner level on this big one and I'm then going to just select OK with that I'm going to take my fill and raise it down to zero go back into my bevel and embose and now you can easily see it we want to change it down like that and then when we have done that I, I usually like to do a little bit of you know you want the light to kinda hit it like around there and maybe the shadows not that bright and what I like to do then is you can add a stroke if you want to to give it a little bit more you know edge but we're gonna not do that for now I'm gonna add an inner shadow to give it a little bit more shadow and I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger around there I want it to look like there's actually kind of a lot of light coming on it. I want to put on a satin to actually make it a little bit darker here inside. Uh, and we're going to do it around there. And I'm going to change the opacity a little bit. Don't want it too bright. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I want to do. You could, of course, no, that's pretty good. What I want to do then is just copy layer style and then go to my logo and paste layer, layer style like that. I want to go into bevel and abose again. I want to put it to outer on this one and actually uh, change the depth a little bit and then I want to change the size so it's smaller uh, and then I also want to change this down a little bit because the text I don't want it to be too big. I'm gonna change it back to inner actually because I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, for this thin text it's actually better with having an inner bose while on the big one here it's actually better to have it outer now and then but I kinda like this yeah so that's basically how you do a folding text and of course like on your background I already did this on this background but what you want to do is then go to um, let's see here a render actually this and then you want to do lightning effect what this will do is actually allow you to put a light effect where you would like it to be. Let's see here. Want to have it around there so it gets approximately where we have our light source. Want to make it bigger. Want to make it better. <laughs> around there. So this is actually like how you just make that light come from the top and you just press OK and then you have it. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's just a short tutorial here from Creativo.com and make sure to subscribe to us and as always guys, please do send me messages if you have anything you want me to do for you and I'll make sure to um, show you a video about it. So thank you and bye bye.